Doctor, Doctor, I feel like watching Operation Ouch. You can watch them now on the free BBC iPlayer app. Here's a 3D model of the human brain. Wow, look at that. Well, Chris, talk us through it. This is the temporal lobe. Right, so that's on the side of your brain, so it's sort of sitting along here. And deep within that, you'll find the hippocampus. There it is in red. You'll notice its unusual shape, which gives it its name. Because hippocampus is the Latin word for... Just Chris, I feel a quiz coming on. <clears throat> Does the word hippocampus mean A, a seahorse, B, a snake, or C, a campsite for hippos? Remember the name relates to its shape? What do you think, Chris? A seahorse. Wrong! I'm afraid the answer is A. It's shaped a little bit like a seahorse. Honestly, a campsite for hippos is a ridiculous suggestion. And now you know what seahorse is in Latin. Now, this is what your hippocampus will look like. This is a 3D printed model. And by the time you're fully grown, it could be up to five centimetres long. But how does it work? Well, we're going to show you. Come on, to the cupboard of everything. Now, this is a brand new maze. Chris and I have never seen it before. And Minizan has designed it to put our hippocampuses to the test. Haven't you, Minizan? And Minizan, you can watch from there. We have to get to the middle of the maze as quickly as possible, which is apparently by the library. Are you ready, Doctors? Yes. Three, two, one. Tell my family I love them. I may be some time. I love a maze. We're both going to have a go. Whenever you go somewhere new, your hippocampus puts a physical map together in your mind. And it does this with the help of two incredible specialised neurons. First, the grid cells. As we explore the maze, a physical grid in our hippocampus starts to form out of these cells. This is really good. So there are some landmarks. There's a school. There's a hospital here. So swimming pool, shop. It's a dead end! Minizand has added landmarks along the maze route to help the second type of cells in our hippocampuses, the place cells. Whenever you move about a new area, your place cells learn where specific places are and they add them to the grid. Ah! Dead end. <laughs> That's really annoying. I think I've got to go this way. I think I'm getting near the middle. OK, I'm at the library. I'm in the middle zone! Got to be! In here! I found it! <laughs> Here's an operation you must perform. Head to wherever you download your apps, download the free BBC iPlayer app now and watch brand new Operation Ouch. Now we've had one go at making our way to the middle, Minizand is going to test our mind maps to the max. It's the ultimate hippocampus maze challenge! We will be racing against the clock and we must use our mind maps of the maze to get to the middle. But there's a twist. Zahn doesn't know that Mini Zahn has removed all the landmarks from his maze. This will really put Zahn's hippocampus to the test. Are you ready, doctors? Yes. Three, two, one, race! Right, I remember it was this way. There's the school. It's left of the school. There's no way you're going to beat me, Chris. Ah! ah, it all looks the same! Zahn, you'll need to rely on just your grid cells to remember your way around. But you won't beat me. I'm nearly finished. There's the library! I'm in the middle! My grid and place cells easily directed me to the middle. How are you getting on, Zand? OK, I might not have the landmarks, but my hippocampus still has a rough plan of the maze it created with my grid cells. I know that I want to get that way. OK, come on. Yes! Woo! Even without the landmarks, I've managed to do it. Thanks to the amazing grid cells in my hippocampus. I've done it! It's over! I finally did it! Finally, Zand. But without any place cells, it takes a lot longer. So we've shown you that all vertebrates, animals with a spine, have a seahorse-shaped part of your brain called the hippocampus. And part of its job is to process information to help your spatial awareness. And that thanks to your grid cells and your place cells, you can create a memory map in your hippocampus that you can use to remember how to get somewhere and how to find things.
So Boo said you're going to have another crack at the maze. Mm -hmm. And she's taught you how to use whiskers. Mm -hmm. All right, well, off you go then. Oh, I think I've got a fever. BBC iPlayer app fever. I've just downloaded it for free to watch brand new Operation Out whenever I want. And you should do it too.